The type of quake and its location help minimize damages and Francisco residents should avoid coastlines for 12 hours. CNN forecasters canceled tsunami warnings for Alaska and the U.S. and Canadian West Coasts Tuesday after an earthquake in the Gulf of Alaska stoked fears of damaging waves. The tsunami alerts were canceled because additional information and analysis have better defined the threat, said the National Tsunami Warning Center in Palmer, Alaska. Small tsunami waves of less than one foot were reported in Alaska, the center said. The minor tsunami was triggered by a magnitude 7.9 earthquake that struck the Gulf of Alaska shortly after midnight. It was centered about 175 miles southeast of Kodiak, Alaska, at a depth of 15 miles, the U.S. Geological Survey said. Although the tsunami warnings were canceled, San Francisco officials warned residents to stay away from coastlines for 12 hours. Shoreline areas, marinas and harbors may have dangerous, strong unpredictable currents, the San Francisco Department of Emergency Management tweeted. Nathaniel Moore was on a commercial fishing boat in Kodiak when the quake hit. He said he felt it shake really good for a minute. He and others on the vessel quickly got to shore and headed for higher ground amid the tsunami warning. The whole town is evacuating, he told CNN early Tuesday. Tsunami sirens sounded in Kodiak, and police warned this is not a drill. Though the tsunami warnings and evacuation calls were cancelled, schools in Kodiak cancelled classes Tuesday after campuses opened overnight as emergency shelters, the district announced via Facebook. Wendy Bliss Snipes described the quake as a slow roller, so it was felt for at least a minute before the real rolling started. Nothing fell off the walls, and I didn't have to wake my kiddo. Heather Rand, who was in Anchorage, Alaska, told CNN that the earthquake felt like the longest she had ever experienced. It was a very long, slow build-up. Creepy, more than anything. Definitely the longest, and I was born here, Rand said. She reported no damage besides cracks in the drywall. Why this wasnt a lot worse about the earthquake and tsunami could have been much worse. But two key factors helped minimize damage. First, the quake was centered out in the water, helping prevent catastrophic damage to structures on land. Second, this quake resulted from a strike-slip fault meaning pressure built up as two plates moved horizontally, CNN senior meteorologist Dave Hennan said. That's a lot less dangerous than a thrust fault, which happens when a plate displaces vertically. These are the quakes that produce the large tsunamis, Hennan said, such as the devastating 2011 quake and tsunami that killed more than 20,000 people in Japan. Correction This story has been updated to correctly attribute a quotation from an Alaska resident. CNN's Gianluca Mezzofiore contributed to this report.